Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to register for the FE exam. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Now, let's get right into it. Okay guys, before I walk you through how to register for the FE exam, there are a couple things that you should know. So the FE exam is computer based and then it is also offered year round. Now, however, if you do go register for the FE exam and let's say you don't find any availability for the next month or two, that's because all the spots are filled up, especially now with COVID, they have reduced the capacity in the test centers, so they can't have everyone and so it's hard to find availability in the next month or so. Now, if you're planning to take your FE exam in, let's say, in summer, maybe this is a good time to register. Now, if you're also wondering when you should schedule your FE exam, I actually made a video on this and I will leave the link above there in case you want to check it out. Now, to register for the FE exam, first you need an account with the NCS. So if you don't have an account yet with the NCS, you can create it. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit how to do that. If you already have an account, you can just go to this link, which I will leave in the description below, and then you, you can just put your username and password. Now, if you don't have an account, you need to scroll down and you gotta do create an account. Now, once you click create an account, it's going to take you to this page where you need to fill out all this information. So you just gotta create your username, password, your email, confirm the email, then you're going to enter your first name and last name and date of birth. And then you have to hit agree and then hit I'm not a robot and then you can hit submit. Once you do that, then you're going to have to go to your email to confirm your email and then you're going to click the link that they will send you, which will take you to your account. Now, once you guys click the link that you received in your email, then you're going to come to this page, which is your dashboard. Then you can click register for an exam. Now, keep in mind, guys, that you can't actually register for the exam yet or check out the date until you fill out these forms. So the first form we have is contact information. Here, you just need to enter your mailing address, emergency contact, and your phone number. And then we have the education information. So here, if... You can enter your education here and if you didn't graduate from the US, you can try to see if your university is here and if you can't find it, then I recommend that you contact the NCS. Now also keep in mind that some states do verify your education background and some states they just don't verify it and you can still take your FE exam without them looking at your education background, okay? Now, if you're just starting to study for your FE exam and you're not sure where to start or if you are on the right track, make sure that you guys check out our free masterclass where I walk you through the exact steps to pass your FE exam. You can find the free masterclass on our website or you can find the link in the description below. Now, once you fill out these two forms, the next step is you review. So you just review and then you submit. So let's do that. So we're going to go here and then we're just going to hit my contact information is correct and then my education is correct and I have entered all the information and then hit continue. Once you do that, then you can easily register for the FE exam from there. Now let's register for the exam together. So I'm going to hit register and let's take a look at the FE and let's go with FE civil. And then here I'm going to go with New Hampshire and I'm going to click continue. Now let's take a look at this. So for New Hampshire, we actually have to pay a fee to the board in addition to the $175 that we have to pay to the NCS, okay? So some states, they actually require that you pay $75 to the board and then plus you pay $175 to the NCS. And keep in mind that when you are in that state where you have to pay that 75 to the board, you only have one year to register and take your FE exam, okay? Now, some states, they don't really require it. So let's take a look at California. It's an example where they actually don't require the fee to the board. So I'm going to just do California, hit continue, and that's it. It doesn't require any application or additional fee. And I can just pay the 175 to the NCS and register for the FE exam right away. So I'm going to hit acknowledge. Now we have the attestation. So here it just says if you agree and you confirm that you're registering for the FE exam and that you'll be paying for it to the NCS and that getting the FE doesn't certify you as an engineer and so on. You guys can go ahead and read it. I'm just going to click I agree. 
Then we have reasonable accommodation. So we have ADA, military and religious. If you think you're eligible for any of these, you should definitely apply for them. You can just hit request ADA. And if you don't need it, you can just click I don't need any accommodations. Then you click continue to check out. And after that, you enter your billing information so that you pay $175. Once you pay, then you'll be able to see the date and then you can register for the FE exam. So that's it guys for today's video. If you want tips on how to pass your FE exam, make sure that you guys sign up on our website. Also, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah.